put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. If the video is too long for you, I have recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. Double Impact Move Review This has Jean-Claude Van Damme playing dual roles, Chad and Alex, and he does try to make them distinct, although not always successfully. They're twins separated when their parents died. They were very young. Chad grew up sensitive and basically he was raised in Paris and yeah that that helps explain the although it's basically it seems like it was natural for you know nature versus nurture it seems like he was always kind of sensitive and Alex grew up to be a badass, and he was also very calm as a baby, but yeah, he's basically a petty crook in Hong Kong, which is the main setting of this. And Alex is brought to Chad, and the it, it turns out that Chad's rival killed their parents, and they actually, they... they were supposed to inherit this bridge and yeah so they want to now basically gradually break down the business of the you know the villains of the film and yeah now there are some trust issues basically Alex is not yeah he's he's always been looking out for himself so yeah and right from the start there's this thing of he's real worried that you know the chat will take away his girlfriend basically and yeah that that's a running thing I'm not sure I should say too much more about that and this was of course made back when we thought that twins always look the same which is pretty racist if you think about it and you know maybe the two will be mistaken for the other is especially Chad who's mistaken for Alex since everybody in Hong Kong you know not everybody but yeah a lot of the big names who matter in Hong Kong know Alex so they mistake Chad for him and the effects to to double Van Damme are real obvious like suddenly the camera will be very still and you can practically see the line between you know in, in the split screen this is this is parent trap kind of stuff so yeah last minute notes I, I you know just hinted at that the you know, basically, Chad is constantly being mistaken for Alex. You'd really think they'd be more careful. He keeps, like... At one point, he's literally just standing out in the street. You know, like, waiting for... There's there's some business being taken care of that he's maybe not part of. But he's literally just standing there, and no one thought that, hey, maybe some of the dangerous people who know Alex will actually mistake Chad for Alex and that might cause some trouble now the, the movie is quite funny I had I had forgotten it's been a few years but yeah like there's you know there's humor from Chad and suddenly having to you know live in this really you know, old, dirty place. They basically set up a base because they don't want to be found while they're trying to take down. You know, they they pull a puncher basically. They're they're gradually taking down the you know the various gang activities that the other you know that the rival 
is partaking in and yeah they want a base where they won't be found and you know in addition to you know Hong Kong maybe being a bit more raw than Chad is comfortable with they also have to live in this really you know broken down old place and yeah like he he he's walking and he's got like his suit in one hand and bag in the other and like he's told just you know put put the bags down can can you see even one you know clean place on the floor and yeah it's it they don't push it as far as you know in in mortal combat with johnny don't remember his last name but but yeah so yeah it's not that level it's not like obnoxious and such it's it's genuinely pretty funny and you know him being raised chad being raised in france of course explains the accent because you know originally they're like British or American, something like that. American, pretty sure they're American. And, you know, yeah, this isn't a spoiler. One of the bad guys is British, so there's, you know, that kind of, that's, that's kind of, it'll be a foreigner or someone like British, you know, in, in Commando, it's an Aussie. It's necessarily going to be some, you know, it's preferably not an American, or at least not a white man, you know. Although there, there were some, but but yeah, you know, 90s action flick cliches. But but yeah, the accent, why Alex has a French accent growing up in Hong Kong is a mystery. Now, this, one of the, one of the main muscle people of the bad guy is this woman, Kara, I think, is, and they go right to the, the, you know, again, 90s cliche for this kind of, if a woman is evil, what is, you know, okay, so, so a good woman is like demure and, and pure, quiet, but not, you know, and, and, you know, it's basically a happy homemaker kind of thing without quite making it that. So, so what is the opposite? sexy she is she is hyper sexualized and i mean this this woman is like walking around wearing leather or latex and and you know that question of who wears short shorts she wears short shorts and yeah like a lot like she she often has bare legs and yeah and they of course make her sexually harass the other main female, you know, role, which also makes her, you know, suggestively lesbian, which again, clearly evil. You know, it's 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 really funny how they did, you know, yeah, the the tropes in in action flicks back then. But with that, I will of course say, you know, for those who really want, to, yeah, there are some pretty hot women in this. The, the, those two main, yeah, very, very, you know, the, the other one, she is sexualized at times, and, you know, sometimes it's that she actually wants to sexual, to, you know, and sometimes it's just that the camera will ogle at her. Now, and, and she is essentially a damsel. It's like, like there's some, she's, she's like working for the British guy and she doesn't think that there's anything wrong with him. So she actually, you know, researches, she tries to find out if there really is something, you know, going on back then. And I believe there's two scenes where she looks into the files. The first one, she apparently didn't find anything. It's possible, like that's, that's one time where she meets Kara, who apparently in spite of working, directly under her boss and she clearly you know she's she can tell that you know Kara's up to no good she still thinks that her boss is just the nicest guy but but anyway yeah you know I'm not sure if it's maybe that she's interrupted by Kara but otherwise it seems like she should have found the evidence that time but but anyway yeah so she does a little research but 
essentially she's just there to you know to be rescued and for the two boys to bicker about like she was you know toy you know an action figure or something and yeah generally like there are times where you know Alex very much thinks that she might just cheat on him and there are times where Chad seems very like he might be considering it and it's like dude that is like one of the main parts of the bro code and, and literally like because you're actually bros you're, you're twin brothers there's there's you, you can't really you know that's a, that's a pretty significant violation now this was directed written and directed by Sheldon Lettish, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, who also wrote, wrote and directed Lionheart, and you can very much tell he really knows how to do action. Now, the both of the brothers are in contact with this man named Frank, who's like he's he used to be. A, a soldier in Nam, and like he's played by Jeffrey Lewis, who I don't really know from anything else. I don't think, but yeah, he's a he's a badass. He's really cool. Like the the night that the the twins' parents are murdered, he like comes in and you know gets out guns and he kills a bunch of the people that were you know killing them. But you know, and and that's yeah, it's it's. He's, he's a serious badass, and, you know, he kind of brings the brothers together, and Chad's known him for, like, 25 years. Now, it is interesting how willingly Chad goes along with, you know, killing people and using guns and such, because he, like, ran a karate and, like, dance class firm in Paris, I think the the introduction to him. We see this woman lying on the ground, and and he's like going, "Is does does this hurt?" And oh yeah, it's a little, little bit. And you can only like see her face and then her chest, and then the camera pans back, and we see no, they are not having sex. He's like doing a stretch with her, and then you see that there's like a bunch of women around, and then he says, "Ah, see, I'm I'm." you know, very well trained, so I can do the splits easily, and then in, he demonstrates it, and the women are, like, practically fainting. It's, uh, yeah. Now, yeah, I, it's, it's interesting that he so willingly, you know, kills people. I mean, he doesn't kill anyone who isn't, like, a gangster or something, but he's still very willing to, considering that, you know, in another scene, he's complaining that there's no clean place to put down his bag, you know, his, his luggage. Now, the... Yes, yeah, so you know, the way move, action movies usually get around this kind of thing is, you know, he's like ex-military or just, you know, something. But, yeah, you know, he's told that 25 years ago his parents were murdered and rather, you know, they really weren't messing around, the people that did it. There's there's a shotgun involved. But yeah, you know, of course that makes him really angry, but yeah, again, considering, you know, he is like, he's really sensitive th throughout. Now, the movie's 99 minutes, not counting the end credits, and 104, you know, including them. And that's a nice, you know, it's, it's long enough that it, it does have an impact, a double impact, if you will, and, you know, at the same time, doesn't overstay its welcome, because it is essentially a fairly simple little film, you know, the, these guys took something from us and killed some of our family, we're gonna kill them and take the thing they took from us back, you know, there's not an awful lot to it, and, yeah, you know, that's, that's a good length for that kind of thing. One of the henchmen, of, of the bad guys has this shoe with like spurs on it. You see like there's a point where they get out of the car and the camera like focuses where you know on his shoes and you see the spurs and he'll like he kicks the throat open of this guy and it's just 
<laughs> yeah, that was pretty badass. I don't, I don't really buy it, but that was pretty badass. Now, the climax is great, but there, it does suffer a little bit from the people involved in the climactic, you know, melee fights haven't all really been established as people who are great at melee. You, you know, we, we want to see these guys get their ass kicked, asses kicked because they're, you know, they're the villains and we've seen them do some really nasty things throughout the film, but they're not really, we haven't really seen them fight a lot and yeah, but yeah, really, really cool climax nonetheless. Jean-Claude Van Damme made, you know, friends with Bolo Young, if that's how you pronounce it, when they were making Bloodsport, which I haven't seen, watched. And, you know, he said no one but Bolo Young could play the villain in this. And he is really badass also. He, yeah. And the, the... Yeah, he's he's seriously badass and also really makes a great villain. Like he just has the the face and intensity to to really you know, you just is is one of those villains that you love to hate. You really want to see this guy, you know, yeah, get destroyed. The acting is okay. And you know, I already mentioned some of the the humor with Chad, his lack of experience with you know dealing with criminals is also pretty funny, and yeah the the film delivers what it promises. There's a lot of cool action. It's a fun movie. You know you've got fights whether with melee or gun. You've got chases on foot and by vehicle. There is maybe you know. There, there are more gunfights than hand-to-hand -hand fights, and it should maybe be the other way around. Now, it's fairly bloody, and you know you get a lot of really cool kickboxing. And yeah, it's it's a dumb fun kind of movie, but it's fairly nicely produced. Like, yeah, you know, it it really looks like the yeah, you know, good good locations and yeah, it it feels big. Like when when you see the size of the rival gangs, you know their their operation. Yeah, you can tell these you know these are major players in the Hong Kong underground. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.